Einstein once said that the most incomprehensible thing about the universe is that it's comprehensible. Meaning, you don't need to be a genius to understand Einstein's theory of relativity. We're going to talk about how Einstein's theory of relativity influenced jazz musician John Coltrane. First of all, Einstein's theory of relativity postulates that light travels at a constant speed in fact, regardless of the speed on the source of the light. Einstein imagined a high-speed train accelerating and moving in a straight line. The train has a velocity. Inside the train, a passenger stands in the center. Outside the train, a passenger stands in the station platform watching the train speed by. As the train passes, two lightning bolts strike and send flashes of light into the train along the platform. The experience of seeing the flash is different based on where the people are standing in relation to the moving train. John Coltrane used his saxophone as a tool to explore connections between music, velocity, and acceleration, which are vectors. Any moving object, including sound waves, can be described by the magnitude of its velocity and acceleration as well as direction. What Coltrane realized was that jazz music has a constant magnitude, acceleration, and direction. The vectors of musical notes or sound played in a jazz performance can only be described relative to something else. Other objects, listeners, or coordinates in space and time in relation to the music are called frames of reference. So a listener is inside a frame of reference, and we can say it would be impossible for the listener to absolutely know if certain notes are fast or slow based on where the musicians are positioned in space and time. People in different positions in space and time must experience the magnitude, acceleration, and direction of the music differently. To understand this theory, we conducted our own thought experiment to see if it's true in jazz music as it was in Einstein's experiment. Coltrane believed that the universe can be reduced into something very simple. We learned that Coltrane was right, and physics can explain how different people experience vectors of jazz music based on their position in space and time. The theory of relativity explains how nature and the properties of sound create the world we all live in.